Hello, I'm Brad Johnson, and welcome to the Healing Code card tutorials for the Energy deck. And in this video, we're going to be looking at this card here. This is the Conflict Energy Container. So the Conflict Energy Container is another type of variation. In the Mind deck, we have the Manifestation Enhancer, where you're able to write something down and put it down in the center of the card to have that uh, card help to amplify that manifestation. So this one does something a little more differently. So when we're looking at the conflict energy container, what we're doing here is we're mainly using the capture method for this card. Okay, so we're not doing the uh, gazing method. We're not doing the charging method. We're not doing the body method. No, we're doing the capture method. Okay, so with this card, let's say, for example, is, is uh, placed on a table, and I just get out a piece of paper, and I just write out something simple eliminate my back pain okay so let's say for example I've had some back trouble and it wasn't going away you know I've just been a lot under a lot of strain with my back and I want to make it better okay so what I want to do first is I want to do a meditation and as I do a meditation I want to feel myself as if my back pain is already going away I'm ready to let it go I'm ready to release it okay so I'm basically giving my own permission to release this particular burden from myself relating the, to the back pain. So that's all I do here. I just get out a small piece of paper and I just write eliminate my back pain. Okay. So now I can just fold it in half just like this. Okay. And let's say again that the conflict energy container uh, is right here on a, on a table. And I'm just taking that piece of paper and I'm just loosely putting it down upon the center of that card just like this okay you can also get a paper clip if you want just take a paper clip and just paper clip right here against the card just like this completely fine okay doesn't matter which way you fold the paper right that's not important okay just as long as the piece of paper is contained right around the center of the geometry on the conflict energy container okay once I've done that I just put this on the shelf. I put this on my bookshelf or my table, what's, what's, or whatever it may be, and I just go throughout my day. Okay, and I leave it on that table or bookshelf for about 24 hours. Okay, and then I just check in with myself afterwards. How am I feeling? Okay, you can also do this for other people as well too. But I would suggest making sure that you're just getting their permission beforehand. You also want to remind them to do a meditation beforehand. Okay, we want to make sure that what we're writing down on the piece of paper is something that we can imagine ourselves being able to achieve. Okay, if I want to say, oh, I want to be a billionaire, <laughs> right? But I have to look into the lack and saying, oh, I want to remove all the lack that's preventing me from being a billionaire. But if I really don't believe in any way that I could ever be a billionaire, then it's not going to work, right? So you have to realistically look at something that you know you're ready to let go of and that you're able to therefore receive the benefits of, right? So we have to learn to let go of the conflict that we're holding on to. And now that we've done that, the conflict energy container can now do the rest. Okay, so it's working with your hologram. Now another thing you can do as well too is if you want to write this down, then afterwards you can also do this. This is optional. You could also just put your signature there, right? This is handy if you're doing this for somebody else, okay? If they said, yeah, I got some back pain I'd like to eliminate altogether, sure, no problem. Uh, can you just take a small piece of paper out, just write that down, and then just put your signature on it? Sure, okay? Then that person has their energetic signature on the piece of paper. Technically, they already do by writing it, writing the problem down with their own handwriting but it's something that you can add if you wish, okay? And then you're just putting it down on the center of the conflict energy container. And now the conflict energy container goes to work. And like I said, you wanna give it about 24 hours and just check in with yourself. You may notice that there's a great reduction in the back pain, or you may notice that the back pain is completely gone, okay? If you're noticing that maybe it's about 80 to 90% better, keep it on there for another 24 hours and check in again, how's it feeling now? Right, so on a percentage scale, how much of a percentage do you feel better? I feel about 80% better, 90% better, etc. If I'm noticing that there's only a little bit of change, I should meditate on this a little bit more. Because again, it's nothing that the card isn't doing, okay? It's yourself. You have to make sure that 
whatever it is that you're looking to clear away pertaining to a conflict, you have that complete and total peace of mind of knowing that this can be eliminated. You have to make it that possibility. So that premeditation is first and foremost. Then you can go into the conflict energy container and start using it in this fashion. Okay? So if you have any questions regarding the uh, conflict energy container, feel free to contact me through the Healing Code Cards website. Thank you so much, and I'll speak to you again in the next tutorial. Take care.